Blood, sweat, and respect. The first two you give, the last one you earn. Let's get out and earn it.
fight in respect. The first two you give, the last one you earn. Let's get out and earn it. Daily. Right now on newsstands is my face on the cover of Muscle and Fitness, man of the century. My personal history with Muscle and Fitness goes way back. My dad was a professional wrestler. He would always go to these hardcore gyms, him and his fellow pro wrestlers, uh, Tony Atlas, Ivan Putzke, Paul Orndorff, Hulk Hogan. I would just hang out and I would read his bodybuilding magazines. I had two references in terms of my training. My dad and the other reference, Muscle and Fitness. The magazine itself, it's often referred to as the Fitness Bible. The very first time the magazine came to me and asked me to be on the cover, it was an easy yes. Actually, I didn't say yes. I was like, fuck yes, is what I said. <laughs> At that time, I had just broken into the world of Hollywood. It was an honor for me to do it. The very first time I worked out in the gym, I was with my dad. I would get on the wrestling mats with him, bend my body into pretzels until I tapped out. And finally, when I was about 10 years old, he let me hit the weights. The very first exercise I did was a bench press, put on 225s, press that up. Like, All right, you ready to go to the 45s? I was like, yeah, let's go to the 45s. 145 on each side, three, two, one, give it to me, and I got buried. And, uh, and I made it a point, like I was gonna push that up the very next week. So all week long, I did push up. I went in the gym the next weekend, Saturday morning with my dad, and I pushed it up. And that's why I don't need therapy today. Being the man of the century for muscle and fitness, it's an honor. It's not a right just because you become a star. I've had the opportunity of being on every magazine cover in the world. We've had amazing shots, Rolling Stone, GQ, Details, Esquire. To be man of the century for muscle and fitness is by far the best cover, the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> so when I was 13 years old, we got evicted out of my place, out of our little apartment in Hawaii. I had no place to sleep, but I knew at that time the men in my life who I aspired to be were all these men who went to the gym, who were on the cover of Muscle and Fitness, by the way. Arnold, Chuck Norris, Clint Eastwood, you name it. I'm very grateful, and I hope I do the magazine proud. Meeting Joe Weider was, was an honor. He was all things that I had hoped him to be. Training and some sort of physical activity becomes my anchor every day. Try and stay focused. For me, I gotta get up at 3.45 in the morning, I do my cardio, I'll have my breakfast, then I'll go train and hit the iron, then I'll go to set. And if I could get those things done before I go to set, then I could work for the next 12, 14, 16 hours. Fun part is the strategy behind it. Training for a role like Ballers is different than training for a role like Baywatch, Fast and Furious. For a role like San Andreas, they're all different because if you do anything, you never want to do anything half-assed, especially when it comes to your training. Get in, be intense, execute on it, and then get out. For a lot of guys out there, and I was certainly one of those guys in my 20s, I thought I had all the answers, didn't know shit. By the way, in my 30s, I'm still trying to find myself, as a lot of guys are out there. Hopefully when you hit your 40s, you're hitting a nice stride. Every day today, I'm just more appreciative of the moments. Been through relationships, been through a divorce, have a beautiful daughter, one on the way, very, very lucky man. If I'm gonna do it, I need to do this job right, I need to stay focused on it, and I need to give the best effort I possibly can. And not only that, but just between us, I was like, I'm gonna be the baddest motherfucker walking it. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Social media for me, is it's become the most valuable asset I have. 85 million people later, here we are, really enjoying this relationship. It's one of the most important relationships I have in my life, is with the fans. And I try to make sure that every post has some quality to it and that means something and people can get something out of it, whether it's some humor or a little bit of motivation. I enjoy all of them, Facebook and Twitter, but the platform of Instagram has been fantastic because it's a great storytelling platform. Plus, I have long ass arms, man. I could take selfies like that. I don't need a bullshit selfie stick. We just signed an incredible deal with Ford, which we're all very, very proud of. It's an incredible partnership, spokesman of service. We want to do something that's never been done. And then we felt like, collectively, the most powerful space is servicing the people. And plus, Ford has been in my DNA since I was 15 years old. I am honored. It's an amazing issue. Pick it up. It's iconic. It's historic. And I'm on the cover. And thank you.